What's up guys, it's Deck, and today I'm going to be doing the top 5 best female operators in Rainbow Six Siege. Now, um, while watching this video, I want you guys to keep in mind that this is just in my opinion, which ones I think have the best weapons and gadgets, and only in my opinion. Not one that's actually best based on the community, but only in my opinion. But I hope you guys do enjoy this video, so let's just get right into this. In the number 5 spot, I'm going to have to put Frost. Now, I don't play Frost like I used to, because I used to actually play her um, a lot more when I first got her. But I just don't really have that much of a reason to anymore. She also, her shotgun, the Super 90, I got nerfed quite a bit with its range and damage. I'm not saying it's not good anymore, but it definitely was a lot better before. And I just now that I think about it, um, it seems like her, her weapons aren't the best fit for me, just, just me in general though. But for some people, they are. Some people really like her weapons, and that's good if you are good with her um, stuff a lot more. And whenever you're placing the welcome match, you gotta think a bit, because um, you can't play against really experienced players. And those experienced players probably know the obvious places you're gonna put them. So you need to think really long about it, and you can't make stupid kills like that. But you gotta think, because like that's an obvious place right there to put a welcome at. So you gotta be pretty creative when playing against experienced players a lot of the time. And don't and don't be stupid. Um, so as long as you're putting your um, welcome mats in creative places, a lot of the time they may not even check to look there, like jumping through a window that may not be in the room where the objective is, or just trying to hide it the best you can. That's always the um, best things to do with a near frost. But I don't play her as much as I used to. In the number four spot, I'm gonna have to put Valkyrie. Now, you gotta listen to me here. This was actually a very tough spot. It was either gonna be Valkyrie or Mira, and I do not main either of them. I do definitely don't main Valkyrie. I'm really not the best Valkyrie player. I don't have good camera placements at all. But Valkyrie and Mira are both great team players, I think. Um, especially when Valkyrie is the least. I, I just think they're both really good for maybe mainly staying in the room. Not, I, I'm not even in the room right now. I'm trying to do something I used to do with the Eager. But, like, you gotta have really good camera placements. And if they're bad, like this one, then, you know, that's fine. You just gotta have camera placements that will really help out your team a lot. And make some dumb decisions like this one. Now, when it comes to Valkyrie's weapons, uh, so, uh, like, a lot of people like the MPX. I think the MPX isn't bad if it's in the right hands. I'm not that good with the MPX, and that's just me. Um... And that's just me, that's not, I'm not the best with the MPX, I don't, I don't know why, I just never really felt comfortable with the gun itself. Oh god. But yeah, with Valkyrie, I do think she's a great team player, I do like it when other people are playing as her, um, because I think it's great to helping out the team with the win, uh, not me though, because I'm just not a good Valkyrie. But, um, yeah, I think her MPX is definitely her best weapon, um. And if you're bad as Valkyrie, then that's fine. Just try to give your team some good camera placements. If they're bad for a two, then, um, you know, you have no point in living as Valkyrie, like I didn't. But yeah, that's why she's in my number four spot. It was a tough decision between her and Mir, but I, I just had to choose one. And I decided to choose Valkyrie just because of how good Valkyrie players can be sometimes. I've seen them. Not me, but I've seen really good Valkyrie players. <laughs> Now, the number three spot is going to go to Ibana, and something very similar happened, just like whenever I told you guys that it was hard choosing um, Mira and Valkyrie, something very similar actually happened. Now, I can't really tell you guys who I was tough choosing, because the person that um, was about to get number three spot instead got number two spot. That's what the whole thing was about. You all know who that person was. Um, you will, of course, know who that person is, though. Um soon once we get to the number two spot now why Hibana got the number one spot there's actually a lot of reasons why she got it um besides i think she's a very great operator anyway um but she did get the number three spot because i've been i haven't really played with her a lot until recently and when i did start playing with her i um, mean the first thing i thought was of course what everybody thinks with Hibana. that is she's a lot like um Thermite. and a lot another um thing that i think she's like another operator i think she's a lot like is ash um, but the main thing you hear, she's all like Thermite, and she is, um, she can break down, um, reinforcements very well, and she's one of the best at it. Um, I also like her weapons a lot, uh, I was afraid I wouldn't like her Type 89 that much, that was one of my 
things I was afraid about coming into play of Savannah, but I did, I, I ended up enjoying it very much, um, and I'm for sure not the best Tabana player, I just now started playing as her recently, I started playing as her quite a bit, but, um, she is a very great character, I, I do recommend her a lot if you're thinking about getting a DLC character, and I'm not the only one who thinks she's good, um, but yeah, um, she did get number three spot, um, it was a really tough thinking about it, but, um, at the end, I hope you guys um, can see why I did do this, and like this is just in my opinion why she did get number two. All right, guys, in the number two spot, I gotta give it to Twitch. Now, there's many reasons I like Twitch, um, and one of those reasons is her weapon, um, and I think she has one of the best weapons in the game. Um, some people may think that, some people may not think that, uh, but yeah, I do think she has one of the best weapons in the game, and you can argue that a good amount. But, um, her Fremos, I think it's got a lot of things that, um, you need in Siege. I think the weapon itself. But, um, some people may think differently. But I, I do love, um, Twitch's weapon to death. And her drone, I, um, sometimes just to be, um, make people mad, I will use it to hurt people. That's not her main focus of her drone. Even though it does 10 damage, which is a lot of damage in this game, even though she does a lot of damage with her drone, I don't use it. Um, just to make people, just to kill people. But you need to use it to take out, like, cap cam traps, mutes, um, and you can use her drone a lot to help out your team. So she's a good team player by doing that, and her weapon is just amazing. Um, so yeah, that's why she got the number two spot over Hibana. Alright, guys, the number one spot is gonna go to Ash, and there's many reasons it's gonna go to her. First out, first off, when I first got Siege, she was my first operator. Um, that doesn't affect that I'm giving the number one spot to her at all. I'm just telling you guys that right away. Um, I do think she is a great first operator too, by the way. Um, if anybody's wondering about um, my operator, they may want to get... I do think she's a pretty good first operator. Um, but the reason I'm giving her this... First off, my accuracy is really bad. But the reason I'm giving her this spot... Um, is her first off her weapons. I think she has really good rifles. Both of them are pretty good. Uh, though her R4C, um, its recoil is pretty bad. But um, I think both of her rifles are really good um, anyway. And I think she, her breaching rounds, they play a really big thing in the game. They're really perfect for breaching because um, you can stay back, just blow it, flank around, you can do anything. She's a great team player when it comes to that, and that's one of the many reasons, not one of the many reasons, but those are some of the many reasons that she gets the number one spot. Um, and if you do play as Ash a lot, then you probably know why I'm giving her the number one spot. But um, yeah, I think she's just really good, and if you see people playing as her a lot, that's why. She's just a really good player to use. Um, I definitely recommend her. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, click the subscribe button. I plan on making a lot more videos like this in the future. Um, I, I yeah, <laughs> yeah, sorry. But, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in